Shalom family. So a Russian think tank is proposing that they test a nuclear weapon to deter the West. A high-ranking member of a prominent think tank in Russia suggested that Moscow should think about a demonstration to scare Western countries away by letting Ukraine use its weapons to target Russia. Dmitry Suslov, sounds very sus, Suslov, is Deputy Director of the Moscow-based Council for Foreign and Defense Policy. He recently proposed that the Kremlin consider using what he termed a demonstrative nuclear explosion. The political and psychological effect of a nuclear mushroom cloud that will be shown live on all TV channels around the world will remind Western politicians of the one thing that has prevented wars between the great powers since 1945, and they have now largely lost fear of a nuclear war. So, hectic and sounds extreme, but you know what? He may have a point. Everybody is just left and right throwing threats of nuclear destruction, nuclear war, this, that, and the next thing. But maybe they've forgotten what it actually is, how bad it is, and just what the repercussions are afterwards. Fallout, devastation, radiation, how the prevailing weather currents are going to carry all of that to nearby countries. So I'm not saying go ahead and detonate. I'm saying I understand where he's coming from, whereas if we're all on TV looking and we see them detonate a nuclear bomb, everyone is going to think twice and go, hold up, that could be us next. And again, I'm redeemed. I'm a believer. I'm a child of God. I'm a priest in the calling of God. I'm standing in the ministry. I'm afraid of nothing. You want to nuke here where I'm living? Go ahead and do it, buddy. You're expediting my geographic location from here to glory. I have no problem with that at all. But I think the world needs a wake-up call with regards to so easily and without thought threatening each other with nuclear destruction and not thinking about the repercussions of what that exactly means. Wars and rumors of wars, people, you are on the very edge of eternity. Keep praying for each other. Keep supporting each other. Keep spreading the gospel. Keep shining your light and keep growing closer to Jesus every day while we are still in the field. Shalom.